The Historical Society of Washington County, Virginia will host a very unique fundraiser on April 14th and 15th in the ballroom of the historic Martha Washington Inn in Abingdon. Here to tell us more about having a conversation with Jefferson and Lafayette is Walter Jenny. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? This sounds like such, for history buffs, this has got to be a great night, a great evening. You want to encourage history, anyone to come, but history buffs especially. You bet. This is the fifth year we've brought Bill Barker to Abingdon. Mm -hmm. He is the uh, Thomas Jefferson at Monticello. Right. And Monticello, uh, Reese, I was telling you off camera, this past summer I had the opportunity to visit Monticello for the first time. Such a beautiful and historic place. I mean, you're just immersed in history there. And you want to get that same situation and immerse folks in history here at this event. That's right. I think it's important for people to understand the history of the United States, right. especially as we're going into the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence in a couple right. of years. Talk to me. This is, you know, we've got Thomas Jefferson, we've got the Marquis de Lafayette. Tell us, kind of break down the event. Tell us what's going to be happening. Well, the program starts at 7 p.m. The doors open at 6 with a cash bar. And uh, for about 90 minutes, they will carry on a conversation both with each other and with the audience, answering questions and, and uh, challenging the audience in some situations. Uh, but they will carry on a conversation talking about their beliefs, uh, what their thoughts were about the United States, their reasons for being involved in the revolution to free the United States from, the, from England and uh, what, their, what their beliefs were and thoughts were about what the United States ought to become in the future. And you know, Southwest Virginia is, has often been overlooked for the part that they played in the revolution. Is that, is, that the, is that a true statement? Yes, I call Abingdon the Williamsburg of the West because we have so much history here that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, we were involved, you know, we were settled in the 1700s mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people who came here to Tennessee and Kentucky came through Abingdon on their way west. We were involved in what was called the Battle of Kings Mountain, right. which turned the tide of the American Revolution and made it possible for Washington and Lafayette to win the battle at Yorktown. And the Over Mountain March actually began there in Abingdon and came through our area on their way to Kings Mountain. The largest delegation and part of that uh, battle came from southwest Virginia and they came down, 400 men came down and chased Patrick Ferguson and his, right. uh, his, uh, uh, the army he was putting together to reinforce Cornwallis. Chased him down, killed him, wiped out the army and that crippled Cornwallis. So. Mm -hmm. Washington could win. It really turned the tide in the American Revolution. It that, really did. That's exactly what Jefferson called it. Yes. Uh, this evening, you know, they're going to be discussing topics that are, you know, are from that era, but are kind of, you can bring them forward. And some of the same things they're talking about then, we're having conversations about now. Exactly. As we go into this next presidential election, mm -hmm. a lot of issues are going to be discussed. And if you look back at history, a lot of all of the presidential races had controversy and had different uh, strategies and attempts to, to win votes. Uh, so it, I think it's important to understand how history works, how things have happened in the past, so we can be better prepared to deal with issues today and for future generations. So we don't repeat history. That's right. Or we learn from it. Or we learn from it. Exactly right. Walter Jenny, thank you so much. Let's give you the information right now. A conversation with Jefferson and Lafayette coming to Martha Washington Inn there in Abingdon on April 14th and 15th. I got the website for you right there at the bottom of the screen for more information.